Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to configure Elasticsearch with Informatica MDM. So let's start. Configuration of Elasticsearch in MDM requires five major steps. The very first step is set up the Elasticsearch software itself then configure the MDM Hub properties for search. MDM Hub properties involves MDM Hub server properties and MDM Hub process server properties. Once we configure the Hub properties, we can configure the provisioning tool for Elasticsearch. The step fourth and fifth are very simple. The first step is nothing but the validation of ORS, which is important but easy step. And the fifth step is indexing the data. Out of this five major steps, the steps one to three are main steps for the configuration perspective. The fourth and fifth steps are automatically handled many times, or so the fourth is very easy, which can be manually done. So let's start with the very first step, set up the Elasticsearch. In this tutorial, we are not going to see actually how to configure the Elasticsearch. However, we are going to understand what are the steps involved and what are the things we need to do prior to start the actual Elasticsearch configuration. This tutorial is mostly focused on on the understanding the elastic search configuration and not the doing actual configuration <coughs> for the actual configuration you can wait for my next video but if you are new to this elastic search and would like to know how to configure i would recommend you guys to go through this tutorial while setting up the elastic search we have to do some preliminary tasks these are mostly related to the setting up the environment on which you are going to install the Elasticsearch. For example, you need to increase the file descriptor to higher value. For example, 65536 or higher so that you will not end up with the run out of file descriptor error messages. Also, we have to make sure the JVM is properly configured. These are the prerequisite. But once you're done with your Elasticsearch configuration, you also need to add one of the, or you need to set the property called bootstrap dot memory log. This is the property which is which is need to be configured in Elasticsearch dot ym file. It is also known as YAML file. This is required to prevent the memory swapping. Once these prerequisites are done, we'll, we'll see what actual configuration we need to do for installing the Elasticsearch. Installing or the setting up the Elasticsearch software involves 10 major steps. First, install the Elasticsearch software create the key store, trust store and certificates, configure the Elasticsearch JVM, configure the Elasticsearch properties, then we have to secure the Elasticsearch cluster. If you remember in earlier session we have seen what is the architecture of Elasticsearch in with Informatica MDM and in that we, we mentioned the Elasticsearch need to be in a cluster. So we have to secure that cluster. Upload, upload the search guard configuration to Elasticsearch. Configure the client certificate DN in the Elasticsearch properties file. This step 8, 9 and 10 are not that critical because 8 and 9 kind of more optional and 10th it is just a single command. The ninth step is customize the list of words to ignore in the searches. And the ninth is customize the list of synonyms to include in the searches. Of course, and the tenth is the starting the Elasticsearch itself. 
So let's start with the step one installing the Elasticsearch. When we buy Informatica MDM product, I am specifically mentioning it's a 10.3 because Elasticsearch comes with a 10.3. You will get a installable under the hub server third party directory. And the name of software will be Elasticsearch hyphen then the version of Elasticsearch dot zip file. We have to extract that zip file and it will be ready for use. The next second step is creating the key store, trust store and certificate. The need of the key stores, trust store and the certificate certificates is to achieve the secure communication between the MDM components and this external applications. To create the key stores, trust stores and certificates we have to run command which is a CPAN command which is common for installing any MDM software. Sip underscore ant dot sh and then generate underscore MDM underscore es underscore store. This will generate this key store, trust store and certificates. This command is only for Unix. For Windows system, similar kind of command is present. For that you can refer the installation guide. The third step in setting up the Elasticsearch is configure the Elasticsearch JVM. We need to first locate the jvm.options file which is normally present in the Elasticsearch installation directory hyphen config. We have to set the memory related properties such as XMS or heap dump path. After that we have to configure the Elasticsearch properties file for a couple of properties. For example, bootstrap memory lock cluster.name or discovery.zen.ping.unicast.host There are some other properties also available. It is a huge list normally uh, but you can find out uh, maybe I just mentioned here the few of them. The other remaining list present in the installation guide. But this is one of the critical steps by setting up the elastic search. The fifth step is securing the elastic cluster, elastic search cluster. For securing the Elasticsearch, we need to configure the search guard. The search guard sample configuration file is present under the installation directory of search Elasticsearch. There will be plugins and you will see the search guard hyphen 6. Under that there will be search guard config file will be there and in that we have to set the properties for search guard config, search guard roles and search guard role mapping dot YAML files. Once we are done with this, we have to upload the search guard configuration to Elasticsearch. For that, we have to use guard search guard admin tool. Once we are done with these six steps, we have to go for the configuring the client certificate. For that, we have to set the search guard dot auth cz dot admin underscore dn property and set the DN of the client certificate. Next step is customizing the list of words to ignore the searches. As I mentioned, the step 8 and 9 are not mandatory, but it is good for standard implementation of so Elasticsearch. The stop word.txt file will be present under the config analysis directory of Elasticsearch installation. You can add those words for which you don't want to do the searches or you want to ignore the searches. On the same line, we can add the list of synonyms to include in the searches. And the file present is synonyms.txe which present under config analysis directory. Once we're done with all these nine steps, the actual thing will come that is nothing but the starting the Elasticsearch program itself. For that we have to go to the bin directory of Elasticsearch installation, installation and run the Elasticsearch.sh on Unix. There will be Windows specific file will be present you can use that as well. Configure the MDM hub properties for the search. 
Now we so far we have seen how to set up the Elasticsearch which include actual installation of Elasticsearch and configuring the various properties around that. Once we are done with the setting up the Elasticsearch we have to set up the MDM hub server and cleans or the process server properties. The hub server specific properties present in CMX server dot properties file you might already aware the location of that file so I have not mentioned here but the properties which we need to set are cmx, cmx.ss.engine cmx.ss.enable and cmx.ss.index.disable of course we have the ex max connection per host ex man thread es index dot refresh dot interval then num shards for provisioning search num replicas for provisioning search etc along with that we have the cmx dot server dot patch dot smart search dot initial dot block size so those are the basic properties you can set with the default values and you can tune further as per your need the default values and the explanation of these properties are is also available in the installation guide once we configure the server hub server we have to configure the process server for elastic search first of all we have to go to the MDM hub and you will see the process server configuration there we have to add or update the enable search processing properties and there are some other properties also we need to enable the same x clean dot properties is also need to be update is required to be updated for cmx.ss enable ex.max.connection.per.host ex.max.threads num replicas for provisioning searches and max initial result size to consider etc as like the hub server the for processor or properties also have the specific explanation and default values in the configuration guide so we are done with the setting of the Elasticsearch, Hub Server and the Process Server. Next thing comes is the provisioning tool. Elasticsearch is more commonly used in the Entity 360 which requires provisioning tool to be used. So how to configure the Elasticsearch in the provisioning tool? In the provisioning tool, the various sections we need to touch for the Elasticsearch. For example, configure the Elastic Cluster, configure the Search Result View, configure the searchable fields and optionally configure the layout to display the similar records so these are the properties we need to touch for the elastic search in the provisioning tool the next step is validate the ORS we can go to the MDM hub and the validate ORS so that all the latest changes get reflected in the MDM metadata the next step is indexing the search data this is very critical step in the elastic search configuration in order to index the data we have a job in the job viewer and the name of job is initially index smart search data the environment contains data for example you have the data already in your MDM system consider the case of the in incremental data load so you have already done with the initial data load and you are running the data for delta so in that case you must have the data in existing system in such cases we have to run this initially index smart search data manually however if you are doing the configuration first time in the MDM hub and then you will run your uh, daily or you will be running your initial data load in such case we don't have to run the initial index smart search data job because when you run the load job at that time this job will be executed so th this will index the data and will push to the collections in the Elasticsearch and while user will actually search the record the collection indexed collection will be used from the Elasticsearch cluster so those are the details about the configuration of Elasticsearch I hope you got the, all the points oh, and you got the rough idea of what are the steps required and what are the important sections where you need to concentrate. 
I'm repeating the uh, the, st uh, the overview of the steps. W what are the sections we have to work on? The first is setting up the Elasticsearch software itself, configuring the MDM hub server and process server properties, configure the provisioning tool, validate ORS, and index the data. I hope you are enjoying this tutorial. If you have any questions or queries about Elasticsearch or any other MDM related topic you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a nice time.